Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 2017 London Bridge Days Parade. I'm Roger Galloway. We're here under some really, really beautiful, clear skies. No clouds up there at all. A lot of people along the street right here, Main Street in Lake Havasu, McCulloch Boulevard, and the parade has just begun making its way towards us. We're at Jersey Grill, by the way. Welcome all of you from wherever you are in the world to the parade. This is the 46th anniversary of London Bridge Days. The bridge, by the way, officially dedicated in October of 1971. The London Bridge Days Corporation with funding from Lake Havasu, local businesses, and the Rotary Club makes the parade possible. There are well over 60 entries from all over Mojave County, Phoenix, Las Vegas, and Yuma. And of course, uh, we want to thank the parade judges who volunteered their time to participate in, in this as well. They are Cheryl and John Law and Diane and Mark La, uh, uh, Fayette. All right, here we go right now. This is the Havasu Side-by-Side -Side Trail Association making their way down the street. They represent the interest of the community here. Their goals are to work with local, county, state, and federal agencies to keep desert roads and trails open for public use. They seek to promote and educate members regarding responsible riding with safety, riding etiquette, and awareness and respect for the environment. The Side-by-Side -side Trail Association. By the way, they hope to assist in the development and maintenance of both public and private lands for responsible off-highway recreation as well as organizing volunteer groups, removal of litter, and promoting access to public lands. There they go. These are great little vehicles that are uh, very much part of this community, by the way. You'll often find them on trails all around the surrounding area. And uh, a lot of people have a great deal of fun around here, I'll tell you that. So it's a great addition to the parade. There they go. They have a lot of them, my gosh. We welcome you here on Havasu Online TV. And uh, let us know what you think. You know, send us some comments as the parade goes on. Tell us uh, how you think it's going. Uh, we're doing our best to bring this to you from wherever you are, give you a little taste of this rural community in northwestern Arizona. Yeah, Harrisville, Utah. Harrisville, Utah. There you go. Haven't been there yet, but it's great. Welcome. I think I've got some friends back in West Virginia that are tuning in as well. That's my home state, so welcome to you guys whenever you do join up with us. And, of course, there are people in Lake Havasu who are watching this with us who can't make it down here on the street to see the parade for whatever reason. And some friends and relatives, we hope, from uh, away from Lake Havasu who want to tune in to see maybe some of their friends or relatives or get a little taste of where they used to live, any of those possibilities. Havasu Side-by-Side -side Trail Association. Coming up next is what we call a gap. Uh, a little bit of stretch of nothingness here that uh, as we await the next arrivals, <laughs> we had a lady crossing the street just now with, with it looks like five dogs. Five little dogs. <laughs> that's, that's a handful, that's for sure. Again, let us know any thoughts you have, any comments as we go along here. Jersey's Grill is a uh, mainstay here on Main Street in Lake Havasu. Very, very popular place. They have a, a crab cake specialty here today if you want to stop in uh, during the parade or after the parade or any time over the weekend. I know that you'll love what they have here. They've got great sandwiches and great food in general here at Jersey's Grill. Fresno, California. Where in California? Fresno. Fresno. There you go. Welcome, Fresno. Hope you, uh, you're a former resident of Lake Havasu as well. Uh, looks like Laura and uh, Mills. Right? Very good. Glad you're with us, guys. Uh, Bonnie is uh, also with us, and she's uh, saying, oh, she's, she feels good about being able to see this. We're so glad to bring it to you. It's not, you know, it's, it's not an easy task. You've got to put everything together and coordinate it and make it look good as well, and we hope we're doing that with you today. Is that Steve across the street? Or no. I'm trying to see if it is. Look like Steve. Now, Steve Vanella, 
Oh, okay, he's a uh, runs the Red Onion, which is another popular place along the street. The Main Street, by the way, is a, 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 the downtown area of Lake Havasu, if you didn't know that already. It's between Acoma Boulevard and down to Smoke Tree. Sometimes it goes, people think it goes all the way to Riviera. Uh, but it's a, a very, very popular downtown area with all kinds of different shops. A, a really good place to go to if you, if you arrive here in Lake Havasu. Some of you are haven't seen the street like this since you watched Piranha 3D. So, you know, it's it's amazing to bring it back to life for you here right in front of us. So we're, we're glad for that. <clears throat> we do have a, another unit coming up here very soon. It looks like it's going to be uh, the Marine Corps. So you military people out there especially will enjoy seeing that. Again, it's, it's just a, a, a beautiful, beautiful morning. I mean... It couldn't be better. Weather is perfect, and I know that some people back east uh, are not experiencing quite what we are having right now, so that's when we're really glad, uh, really glad that we were able to bring this to you. So I've been involved in this parade myself for a, a number of years, and uh, this is the second year with Havasu Online TV, so I'm, I'm really glad to be back and um, looking forward to the rest of the morning as uh, we bring the break to you, colorful as it is. The Marine Corps League, by the way, they're making their way down here right now. They'll be here in our uh, visualness in just a moment. Formed in 1991, consists of 214 members from all branches of the service, not just the Marines. Here we go. The Color Guard and Honor Guard organized to perform military funerals for all who had served their nation with honor. They're also called upon to perform at patriotic functions, flag presentations, grand openings, opening days of school, sporting events, Christmas, Easter celebrations, and parades. Uh, they've traveled as far as Bouse, Oatman, Needle, Golden Shores, Parker, Laughlin, Kingman. All of these are surrounding areas of northwestern Arizona, southern Nevada, and eastern California. And uh, they're asked uh, to perform also at these various city functions as well. Rich Caruso, the current commandant, commandant, I should say. The color guard is under the command of Gene Burns and Dan Arnado. They have 28 men who are on call to respond to any of the functions in the area. Very proud also of the Ladies Auxiliary, which has a membership of 61, willing to serve and called upon to do so. The current auxiliary president is Debbie Soden. Oh, look at that dog. Great dog. A dog totally under control on, on his or her own. So good to see. There's the uh, uh, Canyon City, Colorado. Oh, welcome, Russell. Glad you're with us. Oh, and a gentleman says his daughters and wife are in the parade. Very good, Jason. We're glad we're glad that we're able to show it to you here. There they go. That's the auxiliary. I tell you, the people that do participate, that do get involved in the parade, I know this for a fact, they absolutely love it. They have a great time. They enjoy it. They enjoy representing their group in front of so many other people. Uh, here, ah, great, great little vehicle, Toys for Tots, the Marine Corps Reserve. That's a very, very worthwhile, uh, beneficial charity every year as well. <laughs> one, one of the people watching is Fred says he skateboarded all along here down down this area. Yeah, that's still very popular. <laughs> people do it all the time, <laughs> even though we had the skateboard park. <laughs> Ninth, wow, you went way back. I think I was probably visiting and watching that parade back in 1974. That was one of my first visits to Lake Havasu, as a matter of fact. There's another Toys for Tot. And now we have another uh, gap here. So, let's see, do we have the young Marines that went by yet or not? Okay, they're next. They're coming up next here. Um, 
Eureka, California. Eureka, we found you. Corvallis, Oregon. Gladys, okay. And from Corvallis, Oregon. Hey, I've got a lot of relatives up that way. Brian, welcome, Brian. Lived in uh, Lake Havasu from 1970 to 1980. Ten years, and it's changed so much since 1970. Oh, my gosh. It's like a, a different community. It really is. Grown a lot. It's a very, very different city. When you were here back in the 70s, it was a town. I mean, it truly was. It's, it's just grown a lot. And I've been able, because of my many visits here before I moved here in 2005, I've been coming here for so often, and I've seen that. I've seen it evolve, and it's, it's really something to see. Okay, we have coming up uh, next here the Lake Havasu City Young Marines. They strengthen the lives of America's youth by teaching the importance of self academic achievement, honoring the veterans, good citizenship, community service, living a healthy, drug-free lifestyle. The Young Marines, they promote the mental, moral, physical development of its members. The program focuses on character building and leadership. Today, they're joined by the Black Sheep Battalion, made up of Lake Havasu City, Cayman and Yuma, Young Marines is open to all youth. That means both boys and girls, ages 8 through the completion of high school. There they go, right now. There's the Black Sheep Battalion that just, just went by us just now. There they go. All in step? Yes, very good. Always good to have the left coming when it's supposed to, and then the right. Okay. Here we go. Lake Havasu City Community Emergency Response Team. CERT. It's, it's sponsored by the Lake Havasu City Fire Department, part of the nationwide FEMA organization. The role of CERT locally is to support first responders during ongoing emergency operations. Out of 33 members of the team, staff first aid stations at major events in the city. They staff the fire department's rehab department at fires and other emergencies as well. So far this year, by the way, the members have installed 66 Knox boxes. That's for the Fire Prevention Division uh, on the homes of citizens who have medical issues. Lake Havasu has one of the largest Knox box programs for single-family dwellings in the U.S. Last year, the team worked just under 3,000 volunteer hours in filling their duties for the fire department. Their motto, working together to serve our neighbors. Oh, Diane is letting us know that her husband is driving the MCC mule. I think MCC, if I'm not mistaken, is coming toward the end of the parade today. Debbie says hello to the Elsie family. Debbie, we just did that for you. Lake Havasu City Fire Department and local 2974's Honor Guard and Pipe and Drum Team. Now, the Honor Guard established in 99 by retired Fire Chief Dennis Mueller. Since 2005, it has developed its own uniform and performs training in marches and various parades. The team participates in memorials and funeral services for fire department personnel throughout the state. Eight active members and one reserve member. Two of the current Honor Guard members make up the pipe and drum team. Now, vehicle 717 was purchased in 1973 as the city's first airport rescue and firefighting vehicle. For over 76 years, it was used throughout the department. Here's the Lions Club, London Bridge Lions Club. They have a great dog park here in the city, which I love, and my three dogs especially love, with or without me around. It's been serving the community since 1983, by the way, the, the club itself. Ongoing projects such as the Balloon Fest, Parking cars at Winterfest and the White Cane Drive provide scholarships for Havasu students, eyeglasses and eye exams for those who can't afford them, and support for many community charities. London Bridge Lions Club, responsible for the Avenue of Flags, which is now displayed all along McCulloch Boulevard. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. Okay, the Sheriff's Department.
law enforcement for the county. That includes the Division of Boating Safety and Volunteer Posse, by the way. So, here they are. Always, always needing money, these guys, to expand uh, their resources, they say. There they go with sir, several of their vehicles going by right now, the Sheriff's Department. I don't know if they have their boat here. With There's a lot of talk here about their boat. Boat's coming up here in just a moment. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yes, the Sheriff's Canine Foundation. They're uh, coming up the street here right now. On on board the, the truck here is a uh, semi-canine, uh, uh, I think in a costume, we assume. I don't think that's a dog that we have seen particularly before roaming the streets of Lake Havasu. Hobby County Sheriff uh, has quite a few vehicles in this parade. That's let, to let us know that they're here when you need them. And we don't need them right now, but they're here. Okay, here's the dog. Let's see if that's the canine officer that we often see. Yeah, Ruiz. Officer Ruiz has been a uh, canine officer for a long, long time. I'm not certain the name of the dog itself. Ren 1010, bullet, dog. But it's interesting because this dog is used in a lot of, for a lot of different reasons with the Sheriff's Department, and he is able to go up to the crowds, and, and they, they see him and everything. He's not ferocious unless need be. Here's the... Um, 2008 27-foot Boston Whaler Vigilant Patrol Boat used by deputies on Lake Havasu and the Colorado River. It was purchased with grant funding, by the way. On the front of the boat is Mojave County Sheriff Doug Schuster. Sheriff said we, we have the best seat in the house. He has an awfully good seat there, too, I would think. By, well, standing, actually, on the boat itself. Volunteer Posse, by the way. That vehicle going by right now. This is the... Oh, that's the search and rescue. Thank you. Mojave County Sheriff's Department, Lake Havasu City Search and Rescue. Oh, that's what all of this is right now. Be sure to let us know where you are if you're watching us right now. If you have any messages you would like for, for me to mention, I'll, I'll do my best to do it for you. As we cover the 46th annual Lake Havasu City Parade. All right, here we go. This is all still part of the Sheriff's Department. And next we have the Desert Hills Fire Department. Is that one of their vehicles here or no? No. Okay. I'll still start part of the search and rescue in front of us. Desert Hills Fire District coming up next. Again, the Sheriff's Department has many vehicles in the parade, so it's good to know that we have many good, operable vehicles out there on the road protecting the citizens of Mojave County. Where? Okay. Search and rescue, all volunteer. Okay, but we have sheriff's vehicles here as well. Yeah, okay. Someone from Orange County, California. 
Okay. Tammy from Orange County, California. Glad you're joining us. Shout out to Kristen and family at the uh, funeral home here. They're going to be in the parade, by the way. Uh, Jules Rowe uh, just sent us that request. And, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing uh, her, as a matter of fact, in the parade. It's coming up real soon here. Okay, Desert Hills. That fire department was established in 1971. Covers 72 square miles on the north boundaries of Lake Havasu, all the way out to Interstate 40. Has 24 full-time employees including a paramedic on each engine company. Desert Hills. Got a couple of nice trucks there. Very good. Truck 1521 just gone by. Tony. Says, thank you for coming to the parade. We're out of town. We love this parade. Tony is the one that was shot in Vegas. He's the Desert Hills firefighter. Tony's a Desert Hills firefighter. Oh, Tony's a Desert Hills firefighter. There you go. And that was Desert Hills that just went by. Hey, guys. Oh, Tony. Tony was one of the individuals who was shot in Las Vegas. Tony, I hope all is well. We're so, so glad, of course, that you recovered from that terrible incident, and, and hopefully all is well. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning. Oh, ho, ho, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming. Oh, here we go. Living symbol of the American spirit, the Wells Fargo stagecoach. I just did music, man, not too long ago, by the way, in Lake Havasu at the Grace Arts Theater. Although Lake Havasu wasn't formed until 1966, Wells Fargo served nearby Mojave County communities. Beginning in 1877, stagecoaches to Prescott, carrying Wells Fargo and Companies Express, passed through Hardyville, while local lines served the company offices at Aubrey and Signal in 1878. Today, a century later, the Wells Fargo stagecoach rolls through Lake Havasu in our London Bridge Days Parade. There they go. Ah, yes, those kids performing a very worthwhile service to clean up a lot of the sometimes political mire we find ourselves in in this community. <laughs> oh, the Grand Marshal. Now, they always pick a local person as the Grand Marshal. Uh, we saw Steve Van Ella earlier. He was a Grand Marshal in a parade in the past. The award goes this year to Heather Cornelia. Years ago, Heather took over a benefit to financially assist a local woman, De uh, Denise Madrid, who was battling breast cancer. Denise lost her life. Heather never stopped her fundraising efforts. She's dispersed over $40,000 to more than 30 families in Lake Havasu and Parker in order to help them in their battle with this terrible disease. Because of her hard work and energy, she's motivated other clubs to assist in her quest to help families in need. Twice a week, twice a year, I should say, Heather works countless hours to help others. You'll notice many of the local sponsors' logos have been plastered on the moving billboard showing the outpouring of support. By the way, she is a graduate of Lake Havasu City uh, High School, and uh, she is our Citizen of the Year and Parade Grand Marshal. Okay. The Shriners are here. All right. They're here for what they think is the 47th annual London Bridge Days Parade. But it's the 46th. All right. The, the Shriners Legion of Honor Color Guard. Every member must be a veteran of the U.S. military. Now, the Shriners participate in a big way, by the way. They bring in lots of different things. And they've been coming here every year for many, many years. Is that Randy Peters? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay.
kind of doing some guesswork on who these vehicles. Um, the elected president, Randy Peters of Ajo, he's responsible for the transportation and care of over 2,000 kids in Arizona who are getting world-class care from the Shriners Children Hospital System. I'm assuming that's who he is. Then there's the first vice president for 2017, J.C. Reese of Tacna, Arizona, in charge of the very successful annual Shrine Circus earlier this year at Scottsdale's West World, where all kids were admitted at no charge. Hmm? Uh, uh, yeah, they may be out of order here. We're doing the best we can. We, they don't have anything on the side of the cars to let us know. Okay, where, where is that on here? Okay, Lake Abbasu City Shrine Club with their giant fez on a trailer. And there are a couple of uh, members there as well. 2017 president is Philip Avery. That's him right there. Shrine Club works all year in the community with the Havasu Masonic Lodge, and they contribute generously to their temple in Phoenix. That's them with the giant fez. Okay, uh, coming up here real soon, we have a vintage Cadillac convertible, 1973. Now, I used to have one. Mine was an Eldorado, 1973 Cadillac Eldorado. This one, however, is a 13-passenger one. White one of the greeters unit, by the way. They're parading past the spectators today. This uh, convertible appears from Yuma, Bullhead. Lake Havasu, and 18 other communities every year. It is the only 13-passenger Cadillac convertible still on the road in North America. There you go. Three of the greatest drove it from Cave Creek to Lake Havasu, testing the new GM engine for this parade. There it is, 1973, 13-passenger Cadillac, hidden underneath are four Volkswagen motors. Now, there it goes. I don't know if they drove that here or brought it in on a truck. Not sure. By the way, it says the uh, parts can only be found in Cuba and Iran. It's going to be hard for them to get the parts for that vehicle. More Shriners. And these are the newest members here, I guess. Are they kind of shamed with what they're wearing? Is that it? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh. Ah, here we go. It's the return of one of uh, the camels. Camels is named Layla. There you go. Every year, uh, Al John D. brings one or two camels for the spectators to enjoy. And the burrow. The burrow's on the other side. Little burrow, Nali, must always join Layla when she goes for a trip. The camels appear in many cities every year, Christmas pageants, Easter pageants, and has plenty of photo shoots to boot. There you go. And the camel will not have water for another six days after this. Ah, the little cars. The little trucks. The Shriners are famous for this. And trust me, these guys love this. In Phoenix, they're not allowed to drive these on the streets anywhere. So finally they get a chance here. <laughs> Great vehicles. They really are. They're really neat. By the way, many of the folks here have fond memories of watching men with funny hats, riding little cars and trucks all along the parade route and their hometown parades. These uh, cars and trucks help the kids watching form their own fond memories, so enjoy them. All these little cars and trucks travel the state 
They participate, by the way, in more than 22 parades every year. This is their 15th parade so far this year. Oh, no! Ran out of gas! Now we'll find out how they repair a little car with a little person. Oh, yeah. All oh, the motorcycles they have over here are just phenomenal, by the way. Motorcycle unit of the Shriners. They're coming up next here, following the little cars. Uh, well, all, oh, they got some gas for the little, little truck. Little gas for the little truck. By the way, the motorcycle unit here, they have weekly drill practice. They appear in more than 20 parades every year with the rest of the Shriners. The biggest... And the best fundraisers are the Phoenix Temple and for the 22 Children's Hospitals. In Levine, Arizona this year, they were the best of the motorcycle entries. They shared the best of the parade award in the Prescott Rodeo Parade for 2017. <clears throat> there you go. These motorcycles are phenomenal. And the riders, by the way, are terrific too. They often go through the parade and balance themselves up on just one wheel. They've done that a number of times. Ah, looks like our little truck is ready to take off at high speed. And there it goes. The Shriners, by the way, they enjoy what uh, what they know is the best parade in the best setting of Arizona. All the Shriners thank the city, the police, parade workers, announcers, parade chairman, everybody, especially the many fine folks enjoying the beautiful cloudless weather and parade right here in Lake Cavasu for the 46th annual London Bridge Days Parade. Rainbow Girls, Fidelity Assembly is part National Order of the Rainbow for Girls. This is a service-based youth-led organization for ages 11 to 20. It's a wide range there. Fidelity number 46, Rainbow Girls, teaches leadership, public speaking skills, and character development, by the way. They use fun events, challenging workshops to help girls learn important life skills. These young members learn quickly that the big dreams they had as little girls, and some of them are still little girls, are within reach when they put their heart and soul into really going after and achieving them. There they go. Rainbow Girls. All right. From South Dakota is Bobby J. Thank you, Bobby. And Nanette says she loves those guys. I, I guess she's talking about the Shriners. Right. Marsha says, watching from my compu computer, waiting for a roofer. Thanks for covering the parade. Okay, hope the roofer shows up. Fortunately, you're not waiting for a cable guy, because that'll be tomorrow. The Thunderbolt Music Department presents All Star by Smash Mouth. Now, this tune was made popular by the movie Shrek. The band consists of 39 eighth grade students accompanied by the 7th and 8th grade choirs. The trumpet duet is being performed by Casey Conlon and Dylan Hess. There you go. All-Star by Smash Mouth by the Thunderbolt Music Department. Here comes the first place, Commercial Float, by the way. This is the winner, Commercial Float. I'm not sure. Lakeview Terrace. Lakeview Terrace Memory Care. It's an assisted living unit that specializes in memory care. The residents enjoy a good, safe environment. Helps them thrive with daily activities, events, and specialized care. On board are some of the residents 
staff members, kids and volunteers, Lakeview Terrace, first place commercial float. Ah, we have someone from San Diego. Jeanette. Welcome, Jeanette. Welcome, Amelia. Ah, uh, yes. Republicans are very big in Mojave County. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Here's the Mojave County Republican Party. They are always looking for new members. They need new members. So, you know, if you're thinking of that, take a good look and make a decision. Um, they're in a white 1964 Cadillac DeVille convertible, by the way. Cindy Cox, the county treasurer, is there. And I think Jeannie Kench, well, she's supposed to be there. She's the county assessor. The convertible looks great. There you go. Cadillac convertible. Oh, oh, there's another old, great-looking old cars. These cars in the parade are, are phenomenal. I have a great one in my garage without an engine, so I couldn't bring it down here. So. Okay. Okay, this is the, is this, is this the Lake Havasu Firefighters Charity? Running for office, I think. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah. We have a state senator that just went by, and a candidate for the legislature. Leo was here just now. This is the. Um, That's the end of the Republican. I don't know where it is on here. Ah, uh, the pumpkin festival. Ah. Uh, uh, it's a charity. Uh, like, yeah, it's the Pumpkin Fest and Scarecrow Contest, by the way. And uh, they, they add this Scarecrow Contest every year. It's a lot of fun. Pumpkin Festival, by the way, starts at 12 noon today after the parade. Do you know where they have the Pumpkin Fest? Is it right Sarah Park? Across from the Aquatic Center. All right. <laughs> Those kids are enthusiastic. Okay, City flag, flag football. Lake Havasu City Parks and Recreation. I've dealt with them many times. They, they really have a great department. By the way, they won the sweepstakes float, it looks like. That's the number one overall. Lake, Lake Havasu City Parks and Recreation, by the way. I uh, invite you to join in and create some magic of your own with many of the programs that they have that they offer to the community, and they do offer a lot. It's a full-fledged uh, department that is much bigger and more active for its size than many places in the U.S. There you go, Royal Flush. No ways to eights. That was a dead man's hand, so took care of Wild Bill Hickok real quick. All right, here we go, the Humane Society. I'm very privileged to be on the board of the Western Arizona Humane Society. It's dedicated to the rescue, care, and placement of unwanted and homeless animals. And boy, I care about them. There we go. There's Patty and Steve. You know. Humane Society. They house their guests in very comfortable modern facilities, and they have a new shelter they're building right now. Still raising funds to complete the project. Please help, if you can, to complete construction by no donating to WAS. The new shelter will be over on the far south side of Lake Havasu. they got a former BLM building, and it is going to be beautiful when they finish it. It really is. All the dogs that are here on the street are available for adoption. they got all sizes and shapes there. Really, really neat dogs. Oh, we have someone from Prescott. I was just there a couple weeks ago, by the way, appeared before uh, the mayor and a bunch of other people talking about the, some of the problems they have with the pension fund across 
uh, Arizona, but especially in the Prescott area. Hope things are going there uh, really well for you. Deborah said hello to Patty and Steve at WAS. And uh, Rob says, this is why we live in a great city. So he's right here in the community. Thank you very much, Rob, for that. Humane Society's little red car. They take that around everywhere they go. Mostly, mostly Patty. Okay. Lunderbridge Pet Partners. Thank you. Community partner under the National Pet Partners Organization, by the way. They promote the special bond between humans and animals to improve the physical, emotional, psychological well-being of the members of the community. Promotes spay, neuter, and adoption of the companion animals in the community. 41 teams, including 33 people, 35 dogs, and two cats. There you go. Lunbridge Pet Partners attend several community. I bet you those two cats control those 35 dogs. That's my guess. London Bridge Pet Partners. Here comes Telesis. Charter School. Some of the busiest young residents from Telesis Preparatory Academy. Students excited to be here. It's a kindergarten through 12th grade free public charter school. They have over 500 full-time students. 27th year for Telesis in Lake Havasu. There, there's their tagger. First place youth float. Going by right now from Telesis. Oh, we have someone from Durango. Used to work in Denver and Boulder, Colorado for KIMN Radio some years ago. Thank you, Lona, for joining us from Durango. Cheryl says, wish I was there. Getting cold here. Not sure where here is, but getting cold wherever she is. It's not cold here. It's absolutely perfect weather. Close to 80, wouldn't you say? Something like that? Yeah. Not sure what this one is here. Magic of volunteering. It is St. Vincent. St. Vincent de Paul. They have a great thrift store here in Lake Havasu, by the way. It's a worldwide organization of volunteers helping those in need. Since 1970, St. Vincent de Paul Lake Havasu has helped thousands of families and individuals. It can continue what it does best, helping people in need, because the magic behind the community are the volunteers. So they need your donations. Holidays are upon us, helping hands more than ever, so that they may continue to provide the service to the community of Lake Havasu and surrounding area. Here we go with Pace. I had the Pace when I was had a radio show here in Lake Havasu on KNTR. We had them on as guests frequently. Patriotic Americans for Constitutional Education. Proud to participate in the London Bridge Days Parade with the theme, The Magic Behind America's Best Community. Pace provides free after-school classes about the Founding Fathers, the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, for young people and adults. Now, see, we're not through with dogs. We have love on a leash coming up. No, that's not, you know, dominating mates, taking care of, of other mates that are not as dominant. Love on a leash. Therapy dogs. Privately owned pets. A good disposition. They're really well behaved, as you can see. My dogs are not like that. I have three dogs. They're pretty much the opposite, I would think. <laughs> pretty close. All members and their dogs are volunteers. 32 handlers and 36 dogs all together working in nursing facilities. We have a few of them here, and they go to hospitals, memory centers, grade schools, middle school. These dogs' primary function is to provide emotional support and brighten someone's day. And they do that incredibly well. These are very smart animals. They put smiles on faces and give them much needed hugs or kisses, and they've been very successful. There you go. Magic of human bonding, love on a leash. Oh, we have someone from Alaska, Cheryl. Cheryl, welcome. I don't know how it is up there with your weather. I assume considerably cooler over in Alaska.
But thank you for tuning in and joining us this morning. We're really delighted that you're here with us. Our Lady of the Lake Catholic School going by right now. They currently serve preschool and kindergarten students. The school is expanding. It's going to add additional grades in August, by the way, of, of next year. Their mission is to empower students spiritually, intellectually, and socially to be courageous Catholics. And a very cute float as well. Our Lady of the Lake Catholic School. There you go. Going by right now. Oh, from Washington State. Carolyn says hi. Hello, Carolyn. Thank you very much for joining us. Again, we're covering the 46th Annual Lake Havasu City, Arizona Parade. They have these every year, like I said, for 46 years. Awana, a non-denominational youth ministry of Lake Havasu Christian and Missionary Alliance Church. They work with other churches in the community. The group is committed to reaching boys and girls with the gospel. All the kids ages 2 to 17 are welcome to join in. Awana clubs meet on Wednesdays weekly from September through April at Community Presbyterian Church on Chimawavy Boulevard. Ah, here we go. Billy Jack. <laughs> the Lake Havasu Black Belt Academy. Building tomorrow's leaders one black belt at a time. So I'm not certain how many of these kids have reached black belt already, but that's their goal. Whether you're three or 103, you can benefit. Martial arts combines fun with fitness for the body, mind, and character. Fourth degree black belt and certified instructor Karen Fresh supervises a team of instructors and in Taekwondo forms self-defense, sparring, and weapons. Classes for all ages meet daily in the afternoon, evening, and Saturday mornings. Located nearby here on South Lake Havasu Avenue next to Sherwin-Williams. There you go. The Black Belt Academy. We have a band coming up here for... Uh, very soon here. You can probably hear the drums getting ready in the background. This is from Lake Havasu itself. This is the high school. They participate every year in the parade, by the way. Lake Havasu, the Band of Knights. It's under the direction of Kimberly Schreiber. Staff includes Craig Schreiber, Kimberly Lehman, and Robert Testa. The color guard instructor is Nicole Elliott. Drum majors, by the way, are Jeff Bailey and Sean Conlon. The group's marching show this year is called Phoenix Rising. See, somehow Maricopa County always gets here to Mojave County in one way, shape, or form. <laughs> the band recently performed its show at the Prescott High School's Marching Festival. The band would like to thank all the sponsors for their generous duration, do, uh, donation to the new band trailer. Thank you to the Boosters, the Ace Glass Tenning, Big O Tires, oh, Reiner's yeah. Detail Specialties, Winterbridge RV, and Master Graphics. Total value of that trailer, by the way, that they managed to get is $10,000. Here you go with the band. Lake Havasu Band of Knights. And there's that uh, trailer that they got for $10,000. $10, so it comes in very, very helpful to them. Keeping with the high school and the rest of the schools in the community, the Unified School District. Superintendent Diana Asler. Today is represented by staff and students from each of the elementary schools. Thunderbolt Middle School, Lake Havasu High, Lake Havasu Unified School District proud to announce that Mrs. Tiffany 
Berry has been named the State VFW Teacher of the Year. Miss Tanya Great, Mojave County Teacher of the Year, and Miss Berry will be moving on to the national contest. Miss Gray will be moving on to state. There you go. Making miracles happen. Oh, that's got to be warm for those mascots. I'm telling you. you got to be warm in there. Unless that's not a mascot. That's really them. Thank you. Thank you. Those are interesting drums, aren't they? Is that like a bucket brigade? There you go. Lake Havasu Unified School District. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 975. The only chartered organization by Congress is the Vietnam Veterans of America. This Mojave County chapter serves the three major cities of Mojave County, Bullhead, Kingman, and Lake Havasu. Chapters active in the community bringing awareness to veterans' needs, filing claims, assisting the families. All the fundraisers go to helping veterans and their families. I think it's part of the same group, okay? Smash this car, okay? It's a, I guess it's a contest to kind of knock that vehicle in. I don't know if we have, is this Living Magazine or? Baton Club, okay. Magic Baton Twirling. I'm my sister Alice. She was the champion baton twirler in West Virginia, by the way. Right here in our city with the Havasu Elite Baton Club. These twirlers have walked away with numerous awards at the U.S. Grand Nationals the last two years. The twirlers range in age from 5 to 20. They'll be competing this year in Jacksonville, Florida for more national titles. The baton twirlers. Carolyn says, yes, go veterans. Thank you for your service. I'm sure they appreciate that. Thank you very much. And, okay. We have the first place. I thought we had commercial float first place. Oh, this one's, oh. Ah, okay. So this one is non-commercial. Okay. First place, non-commercial float. Okay, the magic behind America's best community is the generosity of the people that make their home here. Operation Christmas Child, a project of Samaritan's Purse. Each year, the volunteers work with friends, families, churches, organizations, and businesses to fill shoeboxes with gifts to give to children all over the world. There you go. Again, beautiful weather. I don't know what, it's got to be like 80 degrees. It's really, really warm. Beautiful, clear sky. Not a single cloud in the sky. No contrails. No chemtrails. None of that stuff today. Okay. Cancer Association of Havasu. Dedicated to the prevention and early detection of cancer in the community. Bosom Buddies support the breast cancer survivors. They can help with low-cost testing for everyone, and you too can help by supporting the group's fundraisers anywhere. Join them here in this area at the fashion show on November the 15th. There you go. Cancer Association of Havasu. We're being uh, uh, coming to you, by the way, from Jersey's Grill, 
on Main Street in Lake Havasu. That's McCulloch Boulevard, right on the corner of McCulloch and Scott. I used to work right across the street, by the way. Jersey's Grill, wonderful food that they have here, by the way. They have a special on crab cake together today, and they have a good crowd here already gathered inside here enjoying themselves. It's a perfect place to watch the parade, by the way, and come on over after it's over, if you're able to, if you're not in Alaska, that is. This is the Nope, this is the funeral home. Somebody was asking about that earlier. Celebrating 50 years. Celebrating 50 years, the families of Leeds and Freys have served the Lake Havasu community by providing care and comfort during the most difficult time. They treat every family as if it were its own. In 2004, an onset pet crematory was added to further serve families with pets. Unfortunately, I've had to use them twice for that, but they were phenomenally great with my, my departed dogs. By the way, Mr. Frost passed um, in 1999. Mr. Leitz retired in 2008. Daughter Christian Leitz carries on the family name, serving all of Mojave County with an additional location in Tingman, by the way. Joining us in the parade today are the, I don't think you can see them, our, our relatives of Carlton Fraze, Zachary DeWeese, Rachel Brooke, and Allison. So, yeah. Denise's Day. This is a nonprofit organization that raises money for families in the local area battling cancer. The crew consists of a total of 50 who give their time to help those in need. When insurance companies can't help, they can. Denise's Day is March 10th. Oh, oh, so the Grand Marshal of the parade today is now, has come back and gotten back in, into the parade a second time around. Very glad. That's Heather. This is the Lighthouse Organization. Lighthouse Club, by the way. It's maintained by donations from citizens, and anyone can join, by the way. They can use all the help they can get. They keep the lights on the lake shining bright. They have little lighthouses modeled after other lighthouses across the world, all around the lake. It's really terrific. This next float should be the Catholic Daughters of the Americas. Largest organization of Catholic women in the world. It was established by Our Lady of the Lake Catholic Church, by the way. Holds various fundraisers, and it contributes to its church as well. It also distributed eight $500 scholarships to Lake Havasu High School students this year. Catholic Daughters of the Americas. Hospice of Havasu. Oh, we know how direly that is needed in the community. It's a local one. It's not for profit. A hospice agency is celebrating 35 years of service to Lake Havasu, Mojave, Fort Mojave, Bullhead City, surrounding communities. Founded by volunteers, today it has over 200 to continue the mission, providing compassion, compare, and, and care with dignity. Marching in the parade are some of the dedicated volunteers, employees, and their families. Hospice of Havasu. Okay. Mile Markers Therapy, somewhere out of the box, 
By the way, they're also called that, as well as mile markers, locally owned clinic. It works with individuals with developmental disabilities, provides therapy, habilitation services, after school, summer school programs, transitions to employment curriculum for clients entering the workforce. It prides itself on serving clients of all ages and provides involvement in the community in which they leave. They live. Located on the north side behind Shell uh, and south side off Sweetwater or in Bullhead City. Somewhere out of the box, mile markers. The Vision 2020 team is coming up. Lake Community Built Vision, $2 million award winning revitalization plan to keep demographic starvation at bay. The Vision 2020 team has moved from competition mode to execution mode to create a community that's a great place to work, play, and raise a family. They're working on developing the Downtown Catalyst Project, Entrepreneur Center, and Job Creation. Pillar 2 is working on strengthening community schools. Number 3 is working on improving tourism. 4, working on development of an environmental learning center. And 5, continuing efforts to keep the community engaged on progress. Forty-sixth anniversary of the London Bridge days. Wow. A lot of years have gone by. I'll tell you, many of the people that are watching the parade today, by the way, have been to multiple parades over the years. It's a great way to bring families together, that's for certain. So we're really, really glad that the event is held every year. Here comes the band. This is the uh, this is a wonderful band coming up, by the way, that you're going to be seeing here in just a moment. What is this? Oh, still, still Vision 2020 right in front of us, front of us, but we're beginning to hear the music in the background. A remarkable band. This is a U.S. renowned band, by the way, and get this, get this. Elementary school, elementary, not middle school, not high school. Gazden Marching Band, by the way, composed of 200 students. Been highly recognized nationwide, like I said, and they participated in the 27th annual New Year's Day Parade and Festival in London in 2013, and they were in Madrid, Spain in 2016. Just look at the professionalism of this band. Phenomenal band. Believe me, they have worked hard for the recognition. Gadsden Elementary School Marching Band. Again, it's from San Luis, Arizona. That's right on the southwest corner of the state of Arizona, right on the border, by the way, with Mexico. There's Southwest Kayaks, or Kayak, singular. We have one today. And she has not stopped kayaking since the parade began. Available on eBay.
Kelso Museum of History. Oh, look at that. Gifted by Bob Lewis, by the way, the D2 Arrow. I think Robert McCulloch was in that at one time back in the old days. There you go. Yeah, Robert McCulloch developed that gyroplane. There you go. Ah, yeah, here we go. Antique cars. Lake Havasu City Antique Car Club, by the way. These are autos from 1900 to 1965. 65 seems like a brand new car if you're starting out with 1900. The oldest car club in Havasu. Dedicated to the historic preservation of the American automobile. They've been involved in the parade since the very beginning. There's one for sale right now. It'll cost you far more than it cost originally, I guarantee you. Antique cars. I'm, a, I'm personally a great lover of, of old vintage vehicles myself, so I really appreciate these. And we have several events throughout the year in Lake Havasu, including Run for the Sun, uh, that exhibit you know, great old vintage vehicles. This is a great area to have them because the weather here is so phenomenally good throughout the year. And there are many, many that show up in the, in the community. So we're really, it's really nice to see him here in the parade. We still have a number of others uh, to come along the way. I always wish they would put on somewhere on the side what that vehicle is, because I don't know myself, and I don't want to take a chance. Nothing could be worse than calling a Chevrolet a Ford or vice versa. God forbid I call a VW a Porsche. All right. Now, that looks like a Packard, but I'm not sure. It just went by just now. I'm just guessing. Sure looks like one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you're interested in buying an antique vehicle, there's several for sale in this parade. That, that blue one's gorgeous. I mean, it really is. Really nice. In this area, I think I'd go for the convertible, though. <laughs> Looks like a modern convertible. Pretty classy. Look at that back seat. <laughs> Here comes a really old vehicle. <laughs> I'd love to know what this one is. <laughs> Mark said we missed this year. Mickey said we missed this year, Mark. I guess that's two Mark we missed this year. There's Steve Greeley. Steve Greeley of KNTR Radio. I know that guy. He also owns vinyl and K Triple J and uh, owns a part of the Flying X. Country Saloon. Oh, I love that vehicle. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Gorgeous two-tone. That's when they made them really big. And nothing, folks, plastic. <laughs> nothing. That's a car you'll find on the streets today is a brand new vehicle in Havana, Cuba. All right, here we go. The Cinderella Scholarship winners in the first car is the overall mini miss. Her name is Elay Lynn. The mini miss, Miss Lynn. They got a nice uh, Bradley convertible there. These are all Cinderella scholarship uh, scholarship winners by the way. It looks like we just I'm not 
there may have been more than one in that first one. Um, we also have Tylee Skelton, Aliana Bardet, and Destiny Dastrup. One is the overall miss, the overall teen, and the overall woman. Uh, it's always rough when you get to go from the teen to the woman. You reach that adult stage and you say, Lord, what do I do next? Okay, we have a small gap here in the parade. Um, I think we're a little, little more than uh, halfway through. Uh, did Parker High School band already go by? Uh, not yet. That's a question from uh, Bunny. And no, no, Bunny, that has not happened yet. Uh, it's toward the end of the parade. I think we have about another 10 units to go by. And then Parker will, will be along. Hope everybody, uh, again, you're enjoying it. If you're tuning in and watching us, on Havasu Online TV. Let us know how it looks to you, if you're enjoying it. We would like to know that uh, it's coming across to you well, and you're, you're having fun watching it this morning. Hopefully you've got a, a nice little drink next to you as well. Maybe a Cuba Libre or a Bloody Mary or just plain orange juice. Okay, here we come. Uh, the next one we have coming up here is Treehouse One. It's a radio program. Uh, it's it's on, uh, I guess you would call it the religious station, the celebration station, 99.1 on the FM dial. Every school, eat after school each day, Miss Debbie challenges children to answer daily Bible questions and request his or her favorite song. Miss Debbie and her friends are on this big green and blue bus mostly green, it looks like, representing Treehouse One. It's just one of two interactive children's radio programs in the nation. Kids are on the air at Treehouse One. Well, that's true. There are so few live radio shows anywhere in the country anyway, and it's good to see that this is one of them. Treehouse One. There you go. It's a listener-supported radio station. The Renaissance Fair. This is a relatively new event in Lake Havasu, and people love it that have gone to it so far. Now in its third year, it will be at the Sarah Park Rodeo Grounds March 9th through the 11th. New to the arena is the Havasu Armored Combat League U.S. Nationals. It features freestyle combat between fighters clad and medieval armor, by the way. But they have a lot of other stuff, too. Jugglers and musicians, clowns, you name it. A myriad of roving village characters. Robin Hood might be in there somewhere. Certainly there's a king and queen as well. A marketplace with arts, crafts, and delicious food and drink. The London Bridge Renaissance Fair. Oh, that's right. The proceeds go to the Lake Havasu School or ASU. AS, ASU kind of put this together in the initial stages. They were on my show at one time when they're just formulating it. Here is the 2017 Delbert Days Rodeo Queen. You're not going to guess what her name is. Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. That's right. She has that same well-known namesake. She represents, promotes the Havasu Rodeo by traveling to surrounding rodeos and events. Ashley will say farewell to her crowd on January 27th and the 28th at the Sarah Park Rodeo Grounds. Mrs. Havasu Senior Pageant. She is the uh, outgoing queen of uh, Sue Marchbank. Mrs. Havasu, Senior Pageant. This is the reigning queen in front of us that's in the second vehicle, Annie Archer. She's accompanied by, no, she's by herself, it looks like, on this one. 
Annie loves the positive aspect of being involved in the Havasu community. Here's the Yacht Club, proud supporter of the America's best community, uh, one of the top communities in America, Lake Havasu. Yacht Club has the support of its members. First weekend of November, the magic will be evident, the very popular mystery dinner that they have. December, magical setting will greet members at the Commodore's Ball. January, the magic will continue with the always sold out Ladies' Night. Okay. This is the Elks. The benevolent and protective order of Elks, Lake Havasu, committed to building stronger communities through charitable work and donations. Some of its programs include youth activities, drug awareness, American essays in the schools, lots more. And, of course, veterans. The Elks will never forget them. And there are the Elkettes. We assume the Elkettes are Elks that are women. That's something from the old days. <laughs> There you go, the elk gets. Chuck and Eva Fox, they're full-time residents of Lake Havis for the past uh, few years, also known as Charlie the Clown and Pinky Petals. That's interesting. American schools of Chowlin Havasu. They come from all walks of life to enjoy and stay active, learn self-defense, martial arts. School exemplifies honor and respect. They're led by the chief instructor, Zach Pearlswig. Always accepting new students regardless of age or skill. Check out their dojo on McCulloch Boulevard, right here in the heart of Havasu. Here comes the Parker Band. Parker High School. South of us, not too far away. About 60 miles. The band is made up of 28 students, grades 7 through 12, on the direction of Mrs. Laura Flores, and led by drum major Sarah Hunter. Parker High School. <laughs> oh. Right behind the Parker High School band, the Lake Havasu Girl Scouts, part of the Arizona Caucus Pine Council. Girl Scouting, celebrating 105 years. Although we just learned not too long ago that the Boy Scouts well, now they're accepting Girl Scouts as well. And I don't think that the Girl Scout organization is that crazy about it at all. Lake Havasu Girl Scouts has over 150 members, 17 troops. Girl Scouting is the biggest girl organization worldwide. Cookie sales start in January, by the way. They're always looking for more girls and leaders. The Girl Scouts. No boys allowed. <laughs> the Footlight School of Dance, established in 1998 by Lori Weaver, by the way. She and her staff have provided, they continue to provide a fun, friendly, family atmosphere. Children of all ages can participate in dance. Students at Footlight can take classes in different styles of dance, ballet, tap, jazz, hip-hop, Irish, and contemporary. Each year they hold an annual recital at the high school. The group is still accepting students for their 2017-2018 dance year, and they welcome children ages 3 and up. Coming right by you, the Footlight School of Dance. Hmm.
Who's ready for Thanksgiving? Lake Havasu Church of the Nazarene, counting its blessings, celebrates a so many different things that are great for their community. The church is thankful for family and friends. You're invited to kick off the Christmas season as its Community Christmas and Cookies Festival, December the 9th. Lake Havasu Church of the Nazarene. Got that nice little turkey on top there. That turkey is kind of winging it there. Something like that. Disabled American veterans. This is Chapter 27 of the Wahabasu, by the way, nonprofit organization. It assists all veterans in times of need. Disabled American Veterans transports veterans to clinics in Prescott and Phoenix. They log hundreds of hours and miles. They have an annual fundraiser in November on Veterans Day at the Golden Corral. All the money raised goes for new DAV vans, and volunteering to drive veterans to and from VA clinics is always needed. Military moms right there, by the way. They welcome home SPC Alan Wilkerson. The military moms made up of mothers with sons and daughters serving the armed forces. Also gold star mothers who have lost children in combat and volunteers who want to help our military and our veterans. Well, we mentioned the Republican Party a little earlier. Coming right now is the Democratic Association of Havasu. By the way, um, established in 1996, the Democratic Association of Havasu wants to continue growing through actions and community service using the magic of building bridges. It works with all citizens to maintain and promote a democratic and just government. Citizens striving for a better state, developing a cohesive country, and embracing global community. In this area, the global uh, the Democratic Association is considerably smaller than the other party, but they they do get out there, they work hard at their particular efforts. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> There's a Cub Scout Pack 85. They're sponsored by the Elks Club Lodge, 2399, of Lake Havasu. They meet all the time at Calvary Baptist Church. Cub Scouts, Pack 85. The one by us right now. Boat Brokers, by the way. They've been servicing Lake Havasu for 31 years. This is their 1982 classic Seagrave ladder truck. The Boat Brokers has made this truck a rolling tribute to the armed forces and first responders. They appear at events of this particular vehicle for years and years and years. It's a great ladder truck. Lake Havasu City Properties, Lake Havasu City Properties team, by the way, have this 1965 Amphicar. The company takes care of your all your real estate needs, by the way. have over 60 agents as well. And this uh, this vehicle is, is great because it works very well right on the road, and then it'll go right up and astonishes people all the time by going right into the lake. Being amphibious, it works very well. Always surprises people, believe me. Nineteen sixty five. So that vehicle's been around a long, long time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We have another Cub Scout troop coming up. The one we had before was Pack 85. This one is Pack 992, a year-round family-oriented oriented Cub Scout organization designed to teach young boys about character, learning citizenship, personal fitness, love of the outdoors. And they help to make young people, help them to make ethical and moral decisions over their lifetime. Pack 992 sponsored by the Mount Olive Lutheran Church, and they meet there on a regular basis. Here comes a Civil Air Patrol, London Bridge Composite Squadron 501, U.S. Air Force Auxiliary Unit, comprised of both adults and youth aged 12 to 18. Gerald says thank you to the veterans groups. Thank you very much. And Denise says, one of these days I'm going to come home for this. Thanks for sharing. Denise, thank you. Hope you will do exactly that. Civil Air Patrol specializes in cadet programs, leadership, emergency services in the air and on the ground. They meet every Tuesday at 6.30 at Lake Havasu Airport Terminal. Coming near the end of the parade, by the way, and we want to thank again Jersey Grill for having us here and a good place to come over right now. If you can, following the parade, you can make it over here. If not, a good place to come in the not-too-distant future when you make a visit to Lake Havasu. Coming up is the Universal Sonics Gymnastic and All-Star Cheer Group. Now, with over 36 years of training athletes in Lake Havasu, the Universal Sonics provides a positive and safe environment for the youth. They offer training for ages 12 and up, 12 months and up, including recreational, competitive gymnastics, and cheerleading, tumbling, and boys' athletics. Universal Sonics, it's a USA Gymnastics and U.S. All-Star Federation certified gym with a certified coaching staff along with it. Really terrific organization. Universal Sonics Gymnastics. Bradley goes, which intersection is this? The town has changed so much I can't place it. Bradley, we're directly facing Scott Drive on McCulloch Boulevard, right next to what was called Mad Dogs, now called Bad Dogs Grill, and right next to Murphy Broadcasting, which has Media Center on the side of its building, that's Murphy Broadcasting, where they have a number of radio stations as well. They also have a little um, bar inside there. And we're at Jersey's Grill, which is directly across the street from Bad Dogs and Scott Drive. There you go. Yes, it is, Bradley. He's asking, is that where River City Billiards used to be? That is correct. You got it. I remember when River City Billiards was here. Very good. Universal Sonics, Gymnastics, and All-Star cheer. Coming up here at the end of the parade is our college, our local college where I taught, as a matter of fact, just a couple of years ago, I taught public speaking for a couple of years, Mojave Community College. Now they have this very interesting learning lab, it's 41 feet in length, that provides customized training. And then there's the Boomer the Bighorn. The voters were established, established Mojave Community College back in 1970. The college began offering classes in 71. The first college classes were held at high schools and community centers at a cost of $10 per class. A little bit more now, but it has grown by leaps and bounds. It has four campuses, Bullhead City, Kingman, Havasu, and Colorado City. They offer more than 75 certificate and degree programs very affordable payment plans, and numerous scholarships as well. Mojave Community College. Again, a beautiful day, but I'm telling you, it is warm here. <laughs> it really is. No clouds in the sky. This is going to be a great day today. 
really good day to be on the lake, too. It doesn't seem to be very much wind at all. And it has been a wonderful parade. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, at the tail end here is the big trailer with about Mojave Community College. If you can, make your way over to Jersey's Grill. Be sure to visit Lake Havasu City sometime in the near future. And if you used to live here and you haven't been back in a long time, you are going to be amazed at its growth. Thank you for listening. I'm Roger Galloway, uh, along with Havasu Online TV. We hope you've enjoyed this. You can see this parade again on YouTube by going to the Havasu Online TV uh, channel or Facebook. All right? That's later in the day, probably in a few hours. So you can join it a second time if you like. Thank you again. See you next year.